Hey guys, Murloc68 here. Hope everybody's doing well. Ruswin, six pin vintage rim cylinder. Note the slotted screws for the time period. That's just a piece of rubber there. I was contemplating on whether I was going to do this in hand. You'll see the warding there. You can also see that little bearing underneath key pin number one. Ease of key entry seems to work. <coughs> okay, I've not stuck a pick in here. This was given to me by Bears Black. Uh, looks like we've got bottom of the keyway for this, maybe. My hands are extremely sore, so I don't know why, but I'm going to try this. In hand and see if we can do anything with it at all. I have not done a rust one. That's three. something there out of five six is springy it's going to come back up one two three four. I don't know am I counting six pins here huh okay but I felt five. This is a six pin key. Heavy tension was the uh, order of the day on that. So let's have a look at this. There's the open, guys. Just remember now to zoom back out. Uh, what a beautiful lock this is given to me by Bears back. And um, actually, I'm going to lock it up. I don't have very many rim cylinders, let alone something nice uh, like this one here. It's the old slotted screws. Okay, so. I was only feeling, I don't know, should be six pin according to what I see on the key, but I thought I only felt five. Mind you, I wasn't there that long this time, so let's see if I can get this shim in here. Wow, that's tight. Okay, so I was able to get that shim in there. Let's see if we can slide that out. And yes, sir, it is a six pinner. And uh, I'm looking at one, three, four, and six. So one, three, four, and six. And you can see the, the beveled pins. You can see that right off the bat. 
so I'll just let me pull this key out. So we have um, one with our friend the bearing uh, standard in two. Man, what a that's not even a bloody key pin, that's a driver. got another bearing under two all right and another one under three I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before so when you're assembling this guys you're gonna be putting that core in I'm assuming we got another one here Out the key, or else there's no way you're gonna slide that in. And there it is. So, wow, that's another one. Okay, anybody? Yeah, that's another one. So, everyone has that little bearing underneath. Number five is not a key pin. Number two is not a key pin. Number three, four is not a key pin. Wow, okay, nothing done to the core. Let's see what's inside here. Standard in one. Okay, this is weird. I don't even know what the hell that is. It's a small pin and two, boy. They've all got these, uh, they appear to have nibs on the end there. Machining. see something again that I have never seen um, okay. I might put a photograph in there's a spring there don't see that I have dropped a spring anywhere. Oh, 
well we've got a compressed spring here and uh, Oh jeez, this to me looks like, clearly, if you look up top, this plate has been taken off more than once, and I have here, clearly, you can see that. spring is pinched, probably pinched when uh, the cap was put on. There's no way that's coming out. Look at that. I fully stretched that spring and it's still caught. So that's four springs. So I might have some work ahead of me and I have the same issue Okay, so there's a spring there that I was able to get out. Sorry about that. Okay, so one spring is caught here, and it definitely was caught underneath the top cap there. You can see it there. It's not going anywhere. So there's a couple of oddities here. Springs um, four and five. I don't even know how I could show this. Have something inside. Like a brass. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to be able to show that. I don't think I'll have to take a picture of it. Maybe I'll see if I can hold it like this. There you go. You can see it there. It's got a brass rod inside the spring. And that's the same in four and five. And those are the little nubs I was talking about. I can't get it to focus right there. So I'll include a picture, guys, because this should be fun to put back together. I'm going to keep an eye on all those bearings. Six pinner. Nice Russwin vintage given to me by Bears Back. SPP got for you guys today. Appreciate all your support. There you can see it. Um. Not a bad looking key. Take a look at that. Talk about uh, gatekeeper in two. That's awesome. So by the looks of that cap on top, like I said, this thing clearly was taken apart. And the uh, spring there was trapped right from the get-go. So I'll have to work on that. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hit the like button subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you very much for your support. Have a great day.